Hey guys, Woody the Unexceptional Gamer bringing you some Zombie Turkey Outbreak. Amazing game. Shocking this even runs on an Xbox. It's so advanced. Look how cutting <laughs> Um What I'm actually here to talk about is the Favilla map removal thing. So here's the background if you don't know. On Favilla, right by B-Dom on the second floor, there's uh, bathrooms there. Uh, the ice cream, the call out is ice cream shop or ice cream. And on the second floor, there are bathrooms. In those bathrooms, there is a picture frame. And on the edge of the frame, it says, I think Allah is great and Allah is beautiful. There's a picture of it. Uh, if you're like me, a regular English speaker, that means almost nothing to you. It's more like decoration than it is language. And I imagine the developers at Infinity Ward had their hearts in the exact same place. They were like, what? That's a religious script? Like, it, I had no idea. So what Infinity Ward did is they pulled the map down. Now Favilla is out of the rotation on Modern Warfare 2. And they're going to update the map and put it back without the offensive text. Is that the right way to respond? I think so. For a video game developer like that, they're not trying to change the world. They're not trying to make political statements. They're just trying to make and sell video games. And they don't need this kind of nonsense you know, buzzing around in their head. So that's what they're going to do. They're going to take it down, fix it, put it back up. Way to go, Infinity Ward. But there's more to talk about than just that. So here goes. There is an undeniable truth that some people, some Muslims I'm trying to say, sometimes overreact to their religion being insulted. And I sometimes hear in defense that, oh, well, you don't understand. I take my religion really seriously, implying that perhaps other people don't. Or you don't understand, a central tenant of our religion is defending our religion, as if other religions don't have something similar. It's, it bothers me a little bit. Like, look, I'm not that tied into the Muslim culture. I get that. I'm not, an, you know, I don't practice Islam. I, but I do understand basic decency and basic humanity. And, and like, a, you still fall under the human umbrella and you're expected to behave in normal social behavior, right? You know, that if you want to dress in a different style, knock yourself out. You can do your thing. But um, when you, you can't have a shame based culture. Right? You can't have that. You can't have a culture where it, you know, everyone is constantly on the lookout in problems for other people. You can't react every time you're insulted. That's the core of my message here. You don't get to do that. One, it's not good for you. And two, it's not appropriate in our global society that we live in. I uploaded a vlog yesterday, and my daughter was in it, and she was funny, and she compared Taken to Finding Nemo, and now people are stealing that joke around the world. She's clever. She endured more sexy insults or sex talk than any 13-year-old girl should really have to, right? It, whatever. You let it slide. You know why? Because you don't react every time anybody insults you. Um, I know some people are going to drag out the obviously jealous thing, but that was like a coordinated campaign that lasted months long where he talked about raping my wife and daughter and called my son retarded. It's a different thing than a one-off deal. And also, you know, it, and, and my reaction to that, by the way, was, you know, he asked me if I'd fight. I said yes. I, uh, when he said, Woody, I don't want to anymore, I'm scared, I said, okay, you know, I'm not going to chase you around and bully you. It's not the same thing as what I'm campaigning against right here. Um, when Muslims overreact, and that's what it is, it's overreaction, then they're not doing themselves a service, and they're not really changing the minds of the people that do this. The insults that they dish out the Mohammed cartoon with the bomb on their head and the the notion that people are going to you know, go crazy violent over these problems are reinforced by some of these reactions a better idea is to look the other way every now and then just fit in globally and these problems won't chase you around anymore all right if you enjoyed the video be sure to click like if you're new around here you can subscribe in the top right two videos you may have missed mail monday and a sunday vlog both went over really well have a good day